Good morning, lovelies. I'm going to make me Leo one breakfast. Um, I don't know, maybe it will be helpful for someone. I'm going to, I will be making um, courgette pancakes with oats. She really loves them. So that's why I'm thinking like for those who have small children, that might be very helpful if you don't know this recipe because it's so simple. It's easiest recipe I've ever known for breakfast and it saves me most of the times. So actually my lips are dry a little bit and always have a lip balm down here in the kitchen because my lips are dry in general and now it's autumn so they get they become more dry now so let me get everything ready there is a board I'm gonna I'll need a blender I never pre-weigh anything, I'm just going with how much courgette I will have. So I just literally, when I chop it, I put it on scales and that's how I'm going to measure the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to put a blender right in front of me. Two courgettes. Yeah, two courgettes. I'm gonna dry them after I've washed them. I'm gonna leave this on the side because that's where all the rubbish I'm gonna chop off is gonna go. So I can quickly and easily just throw it away after. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just chopping them. So I just chop them so they. Feed. How did I wash it? Right, so I'm gonna chop them so they fit in a blender. I'm gonna see, I think I'm gonna do one and one. So I just chop. I just chop them in, in rings first. There is a small. So this one's gonna be in quarters. Small ones I'm gonna put, and then I just chop them in some small right? quarters. So basically, after that, I chop rings in quarters, nice and easy, nothing special. It's a very fast recipe. And in general, uh, Vicky, she doesn't really like pancakes, but these ones she always eats. So that's why I actually was cooking them for us before and then just gave her a try and she loved them. And since then she eats them. So I'm continuing chopping the remaining courgettes. Yeah, I think I'll have to blend them like two times. So this, uh, my blender is quite small, but it's really good. I'll have a bigger one, but that one works worse than this one. So that's why mm, I prefer to divide it in two parts and blend it twice instead of using that one just once okay. 
eggs. So I've got eggs as well and uh, a little bit of salt. You can add a little bit of pepper, but for a little one, I don't add a lot. So actually, it's really good. I might make because I'm separating it in two. I'll make one. Uh, I'll make one part with no peppers for her and that, like just a pinch of salt, a little teeny tiny bit. And the second half will be for myself and there I'm going to add peppers. Grinded pepper. Peppers, not peppers. Pepper. And oats. Um, usually I use rolled oats, but this is like just a simple ones, like a little bit grinded oats already, but I don't see the difference in them. If someone knows the difference, let me know because I'm curious as well because I, I, I never understand so we're gonna do one hundred and eighty grams of cool threads then I'm gonna actually let's do 160 and let's see how much it's going to be in the other one roughly 160 i don't measure it then i do add a pinch of salt for like teeny tiny bit you can always add after it just to it's just for the flavor and then if it's 160 of courgette i'm gonna add 80 grams, so basically half of oats. So it's going to be eight. Uh, 72. 80. Okay, and, and one egg. I'm, I'm going to add one egg into all this. Oh, it's my phone ringing. Hello. Hello. We're going to nip down about quarter past half past ten. Is that all right? Yeah, that's all right. You know yeah. that you know that Ross is in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alpha, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, Dennis. Do you want anything, Dennis? Said. No, I think I think we're all right. You sure? Yeah. I I think we're good. What's she doing, Vicky Sue? Still asleep. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh, all right then. I'll let you go. Y yeah, well, I'm not sleeping. I'm already making her breakfast. So when she oh. wakes up, so she has something to eat. All right then. I'll see you later. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so you add an egg in there. I don't know how I've done it. While I was talking, if I do that, I might cut it out after. So, and now we're gonna blend all this. Oh yeah, you can add, uh, you, you can add a little bit of uh, baking powder into it, but just teeny tiny bit as well. That makes them a little bit fluffier when you fry them. So uh, I, I do it always just I, I, don't, I don't measure it i just add a little bit and that's it so now i'm gonna close it and blend it now it's gonna be loud so there is no point of me talking at the moment i usually Open it and get everything from the sides down and then blend it again and I blend it until it becomes like a dough like a dough if you would make regular pancakes but just a little bit thicker um, yeah so let's do it again and then it's ready if you see that it's not like it's too thick just add another egg so that will help so there it is 
I'm not gonna get the blades out yet, so that's how it looks like. So I don't know, can you see? Can you see? Can you see? It's quite yeah, it's like a pancake, pancake dough. But now you have to leave it for 15 minutes or a little bit longer. So just leave it for 15 minutes or a little bit longer for all the ingredients that are blend together for the baking powders. I don't know, we just leave it for 15 minutes. All right, in 15 minutes or so, I think it's a little bit longer than that. So there we go. It's gone a little bit thicker. It was, it was not as thick before. So I'm gonna mix it all once again. So. And now I'm gonna fry some pancakes. So I already have my pan heating up. I usually fry them on uh, medium, medium high, so a little bit higher than medium, um, but that's for my oven and for my uh, frying pan. I think it's because of the frying pan, so if I would have another one, probably the medium would be absolutely perfect, but for this one, I find that a little bit higher is actually works a little bit better, and all I do is just like I scoop with the spoon, with a tablespoon and put them on a pan. I fry approximately five pancakes at a time. Uh, that's how it works for my pan and for me. I don't know if you're able to see. I'll try to get a camera and put it so that's how it looks like. And now I'm gonna fry them from now I'm gonna fry them from both sides for approximately like four minutes each side, a little bit less. I I just I just check. So it's the same way how you fry the regular pancakes. So I just see when it starts like the bubbles start to appear or like it's getting like you can see that it's fried from the other side. I just turn them over and from and then another couple minutes, two, three minutes from the other side, works perfectly. She loves them. And they're actually quite tasty, so please make them and, and try. And hopefully you'll love them the same way as we do. So here we go, the first one is ready. So that's how it is from the other side, that's from this side. They're still hot because I, I took them off couple minutes ago and what I usually do is I get them into a small bit small bit for a little one because that's how they cool faster because usually she's proper asking for them. Что случилось маленький? Ударилась? солнышко. Sometimes I can add a little bit of sour cream on top of them. Sometimes I don't. Today I don't have it, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And she's still gonna eat them, even them, even without sour cream. Садись, будем кушать. Садись, 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 осторожно, сейчас. Что ты будешь кушать? Пинки, 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 Kusna. <laughs> All right, we're gonna enjoy our breakfast and that's it for today and see you next time. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Siti Pajaska. Bye. Oh. Let's go, Simon. Zablinchke.
Oh, I forgot to tell you that I store them just in, in a regular bag or like the plastic bag, the zip bag and uh, keep them in the fridge. Um, she likes to eat them cold as well. So, and they survive till tomorrow. So don't be scared to fry a bit more. You can always use them after. Mama говорит. Кусенька? Кусенька. Yeah, so don't, don't be afraid to fry more than less. Uh, they, they're really nice cold as well. So enjoy.